I've already shuffled, and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person you're dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So, Aries, the recent past energy between you and the person you're dealing with, we got the Four of Pentacles, and it's with the Page of Wands. Now, this Four of Pentacles can be a card about holding on to things, people, money, situations, longer than is healthy, longer than is realistic. So, when this card appears, it's a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to and whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. Four of Pentacles, it does point to anxiety, fear, could be about money, or clinging to whatever makes you feel secure. But the key is to try to realize that being anxious and grasping, it does not bring security. Now this Page of Wands um, is a card that can be about people who are warm, ambitious, usually high achievers. If this is not an actual person, it can indicate the energy of easy distraction. So there's a need to try to stay focused. This card, it does indicate that things you started some time ago could start to come to fruition. It can also show that there's a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, and new ideas. The page brings a positive energy, but because of the energy of easy distraction and needing to try to stay focused, you have to supply the follow-through. So, Aries, Four of Pentacles, clarified by this page of wands for the recent past energy between you and your person. The message that I'm getting here is that um, you could have been dealing with someone that had a lot of passion for you, passion for the connection. That's what the Page of Wands can be about also. Um, when, the pas when the Page of Wands talks about love and relationships, it can be about messages of love and affection that's coming your way. So this person could have enjoyed reaching out to you, being very, um, uh, with loving conversation, put it that way. But this person had a, an unhealthiness that they brought to the connection or they had towards you. And the Four of Pentacles is saying that this person could have, um, maybe they were holding on to you too, way too tight and they didn't give you enough breathing space. And then for some of you, Aries, um, this person, they were the type that um, probably could have been stingy or they tried to breadcrumb you, holding on really tight to their money. Because if you look at the Four of Pentacles, the card that's above the word past, this man, he's on all fours. He's got his hand on his money and his feet on his money. His eyes look like they're about to pop out of his head or his face. And his brain or head looks like it's about to explode. If a huge brick fell out of the sky and hit him upside his head, he'd still be holding on to those pinnacles. Yeah, because when you hear the word pinnacles in the tarot, that indicates money, cash, coins, finance, income. So like I said, you had, you had somebody, well, the recent past energy between you and your person is that um, they had a lot of passion for you. They had a deep emotion for you, but this person could have been uh, maybe cheap or just tried to be, be, be really stingy, breadcrumb you. Or they um, just held on to you really tightly in an unhealthy way. Um, you'd probably start to feel like this person was um, just too clingy needy. So those are a couple of storylines that, that I'm getting for that 
uh, for you and your person in the recent past. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Okay, so we got this King of Swords, and it's with, it's with the Ten of Swords. Now, the King of Swords can stand for a powerful, opinionated, forceful person in your life. He could, but not always, have hair on the darker end of the spectrum. It could go either way. You could be tempted to only think about how things affect you personally. Especially when this card is not representing a person in your life. So you may need to consider the feelings of others before you act. King of Swords points, it points to a very forceful energy. So you may not be able to get this man or this person to change his mind or to do what you want. So you may need to change something major about your behavior, thoughts, or expectations. But don't overextend your, week, your reach. Now, it's with the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords, when this comes up, it's actually a signal to be careful about where you put your trust. When it comes up in relation to whether, whether or not you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable. Well, if you look at the picture, Ten of Swords, the card below the word present. This man has, has all these swords in his back. Well, it would be a pretty clear answer of no. You cannot trust the situation is stable. But try to keep in mind, whenever a door closes, another door opens, you're being guided to a situation better for you. Trust yourself. Trust the universe. So coming up, Aries, King of Swords, clarified by this Ten of Swords. Yeah, you might um, finally be putting your foot down. But you, you realize you might have to be very cold and forceful about it. Because you're, you're feeling that you just don't trust the connection is stable. Or you don't trust certain situations are stable with your person. So you, can probably, you probably could be realizing you need to be more bold with your person. More sharp. Probably more harsh with your person, like the King of Swords is. You, you probably feel like you, you need to stop using your heart and just use your head with this person. Yeah. Just if you're gonna, you're, you're gonna start to feel like for some of you that you need. A different approach. Maybe you've been too lenient. Maybe you've been too kind with your person. But let's move on over. Let's see what the challenge is. We got this Four of Wands. And it's with the Knight of Swords. Now the Four of Wands often can indicate you could be attending a special event. It's going to be way more fun than you're anticipating. So go. You'll have a good time. If you have a business, it's likely to be going really well. You'll be proud of yourself and others will be proud of you also. Now, although this is a positive card in a reading, it does show a need to keep your wits about you. And that maybe you do deserve and should treat yourself to some fun. But just know you're probably still in a building up phase. And now is really not the time to rest completely on your laurels. This four of wands can sometimes mean that you may be thinking of moving or changing your place of residence. Now it's with the Knight of Swords. Well, the Knight of Swords can be a message bearer. This um, type of energy comes rushing in. And this type of um, energy or person uh, will cut out whatever it is that gets in their way just to be with their person. That's why he has this huge sword in his hand. So basically your challenge four of cups clarified by the knight of swords. So Aries what I'm getting is that yeah your person they they're feeling that you're taking on a different type of energy. 
So they come right, they want to come rushing towards you like the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords can want to try to sweep you off your feet. Um, this person, they do want, he's showing that they want commitment with you because the Four of Wands, the card about the word challenge, that's the marriage and commitment card. They could want something long term with you. So they're trying to, they could be trying to let you know that they, they want something more serious. And just trying, probably trying to make things better. Because they see that you're taking on a whole different type of energy. You're being like the King of Swords, really forceful. And just not taking any more, any more un, unnecessary stuff or unhealthy things that are going on with the connection. <laughs> So here they come. They come rushing towards you. Yeah. Trying to make things better. This person's got a lot of emotion for you. Four of Wands. Yeah. They want something serious. Even though they, they come across as having this unhealthy type of energy towards the connection or towards you. Well, let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. we got the Six of Pentacles. And the Seven of Pentacles. Now, the Six of Pentacles, it can be a sign of a turn for the better, especially when it comes to money. It's one of, it's one of the more positive Pentacles in the deck. It speaks of equality, fairness, the nature of life. When this card appears, you could be heading into a positive cycle. Not just a positive day or a time, but a whole complete cycle. Yeah, it could mean that um, well, this card can be about generosity, so it could mean that you're about to be the beneficiary or the giver of something of value. Share what you have, because there's always someone who needs it. Now to the Seven of Pentacles. Now, this is a card about returns on investments. This could be literal, maybe a bank account returning money to you. Or figurative, figuratively, such as investments of time. Effort and energy that you put into a relationship. It's about reaping what you've sown. This is very positive. So you should be feeling more secure than you have in a while. Things will be moving along well. And you'll be feeling hopeful about the future with a good cause. But you might have to decide whether to put your energy into people and things or situations that you're already involved with. Or whether to spend your time, energy, and effort trying to bring more into your life. So your outcome, Six of Pentacles, clarified by the Seven of Pentacles. So yeah, Aries, deep down inside, you, you do want to make this work. Because if you look at the Seven of Pentacles, it's the card below the word outcome. This lady, she's watering a plant. She gets up every morning to take care of it. And before she goes to bed, she takes care of it. Uh, when she first got this plant, it was just a little, tiny, teeny little baby. She could hold it in the palm of her hands. Now it's about 10 feet tall. The leaves are rich and healthy and well-nourished. So, yeah, that's an indicator that you, you do really want this to work with this person, even though you sometimes feel you don't trust that it's stable. Um... But I'm getting, because it's with the Six of Pentacles, the card above the word outcome. You, For some of you, your person is bread breadcrumbing you. They are breadcrumbing you. And I say this because the Six of Pentacles is showing up here. And, that can, and it's with the Seven of Pentacles. That can mean that um, for... Some of you, you want your person to be more giving. Yeah, maybe um, for some of you, you want them to maybe take care of all the deals or, or do more, be more generous or start to put in their share of what they have to give to the relationship. You want them to give in some kind of way more or better. 
If it's not financially, it's some other kind of way. You need them to be more giving. Um, you know they want it to work, and you want it to work too. That's why the Seven of Pentacles is there. But they still have some type of unhealthy clinging. And like I said, I'm getting for a lot of you. It's because they hold on too tight to, to their money. And for others, it's not about money. It's it's about holding on tight to the connection in an unhealthy way. And for others, it's about holding on to something really tight. It could be a number of things. just some, Or it could be just some unhealthy clinging. But you need them to, to, to let loose, like the Six of Pentacles, and let things flow freely. Um, be more giving. Yeah. But this person, they want commitment. They want something more serious with you. If it's not there already, they could be wanting the connection go to the next level. But you realize that you have to probably pull out a side of you that you don't like to, to pull out. Be more like the King of Swords. You gotta put your foot down and just say no a lot of times in a very, very bold and cold, cold way. Because, like I said, the King of Swords does not use his heart. So you realize that you can't be too soft with this person. But that's the reading that I have for you today, Aries. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself. Best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Aries, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong, take good care, come back and join me. For the next Aries reading, just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind when you get the readings, the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed, meaning you could be your person. Or your person could be you. So just take the readings for however it resonates. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So Aries, I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope, I hope to see you at the next reading. I'm wishing all of you the best of the new year, 2021. I hope you have a great day and take care.